you will definitely speed up your coding dramatically with these tips. Number one, I press C here and I just clear the terminal. Now, how is it that I can do that? Well, originally there's a keyword, it's called clear. If I type clear, it will clear the terminal. However, I can do it with C by using this thing called a dot bash rc file you've probably heard of this before you have this file it's in your home directory with a squiggle uh, slash to get into your home directory this file may be empty for you you're going to open this up and you can do it just like this i typed ob because i have already made this alias which allows ob to open this file so here is the line where it is allowing me to use just the letter c to act as this command clear so Keep in mind that one thing which will confuse you if you don't know this is you need to source the bash RC file if you change it. So if you open this file and you put clear, you put this line in here and then you go and you go back to your terminal here and you type the C to clear it, it is not going to work for you because you will need to write this command here, source. So you'll need to type this in for at least the first time in order to source this. I would recommend putting this thing in here as well because then every time you change this and you want to use it, you could just type SB and it will call this for you and update this file for you. Now, next thing here is, uh, you see this dollar sign, I don't have all this other junk in the way, which is like the directory and file names and things like this that are here. I like to keep this dollar sign to make it just uh, to get rid of all that stuff and only have this dollar sign to make things easier to see there's less clutter. So you can just put this in here and that will do that for you. This stuff is not really relevant. So now the next thing which is very important here is I can move around very quickly by holding shift command and bracket. I can go and I can move around on the different terminals. This is my Python interpreter here. Now I can go and I can go over to this just by pressing command and semicolon is what I have put on there, but you can change that in the settings here. So I'm gonna go back and let's see if I highlight some code here and I just press shift return, I can just immediately put code here into the interpreter. Another thing which is very important is to clear the Python interpreter. So to do that, I'll press control, control plus L, okay? So just writing that in case you can't hear what I'm saying, hold control and L and that will clear that for you. So I think that's everything and that should be a lot of help for you to speed up your coding.